uh, let's practice some of the questions from the past papers related to low level programming uh, this is november 19 question paper 4 variant 1 question number 2 page 14 here um, in this one he is giving you an example of uh, a table that contains some of the uh, some of the instruction sets for a processor and uh, starting from the opcode and uh, starting from the opcode and the operand okay here he gives you the uh, opcode this is the operand that's going to be manipulated by the opcode it might contain a value it might contain an address and here we have the explanation uh, for this opcode uh, and the operand uh, if we move down to the next page okay this is the main question here he's saying a programmer writes a program that multiplies two numbers together and these numbers are num1 and num2 uh, and he is asking to fill in the spaces in the table given uh, to complete this program uh, some of uh, the lines have a comment some of the lines are empty so you have to figure out what should be the instruction uh, the comment for the first one he is saying load the value from answer this is a direct uh, load for a value to the accumulator uh, this is direct addressing so he gives you the address which is answer and he is asking you to load the value within that address to the accumulator let's see uh, what would be the code, the opcode for that uh, command, for that instruction uh, from the table given. Uh, this is the direct loading of a value from an address uh, to ACC. So this is uh, what you have to use for that instruction. So what should be written here is LDD uh, answer. Okay, the next instruction is saying add the value from uh, num home. So we're going to add a value from that address to the uh, value in the accumulator. And this is also a direct, uh, a direct addressing. So what I'm going to say is from the table, you're going to find that command add from num1. Okay, uh, the next one is empty, so we don't have here any kind of comment. So, what do you think should be uh, the next step? The next step is to update the answer address or the answer location with the new value in the accumulator. Because uh, here he's asking to load that to load that value to the accumulator value from that address to the accumulator okay then he's gonna ask you to uh, update that value by adding a value from num1 to the accumulator okay so uh, the new value of the accumulator should equal to the answer plus the num1 that means we update already the value of answer so we have to return this back update this updated value back to the answer address how do we return it by using the command sto update uh, that means store the value from the accumulator into the answer location then load the value from the count again l d d count uh, so we load that uh, value from the count into the accumulator then we increment the accumulator by using one of the commands from the table uh, which is inc increment the accumulator acc then we have another uh, empty space so uh, empty comment what do you expect should be the next step is to update the count as we did before in the answer so this value we are going to store it in the accumulator then we are going to increment that means add one to the value in the accumulator that means plus one then uh, that means uh, actually we updated the value of the count so we have to return 
the new updated value to the current address so how to load it by using STO again and count okay the next one is saying is num2 is equal to uh, count that means you have to compare the value inside each variable with the other one so um, how do we compare by using another command from the table called cmp how did I get this? Look at this. Look at the table. Uh, here we have CMP with addresses and CMP with, with immediate value. So we, because he gave us two variables, that means two addresses, we're going to use CMP with address. Okay. So here we compare the contents of the accumulator with the content of an address. Turn back to the question again. He's saying that is num2 is equal to count. Already, uh, count value, the updated count value is stored in the accumulator. So that means we are going to compare what's what's in the accumulator, which is actually the count, with the address given, which is num2. So compare with num2. Because we already have the value of count into the accumulator. So we compare the value of accumulator with num2. If false, if false means uh, if the output from the decision is not true, jump to a loop. Okay, which is a label given to us here. Okay, so what would be uh, uh, the command for that one? We're going to use j, p, e, n. So uh, this is also given to you in the table. So if false, jump directly to loop. Load the value from answer. That means, again, uh, direct addressing, load answer. Copy that value and put it inside the accumulator. And I'll put the answer to the screen, which is a command called out you'll find it in the table as well just out and end the program that means another command from the table end called end and this is how to solve this kind of question to get the full mark